What do these snowmen and this wall have in common? Well, they are both almost impossible to park on in-game, unless you apply this one simple trick. The trick that I'm going to show you today is very easy to use, as long as you have an alt account or a friend to help you out. Often when I'm trying to reach a parking spot, I try to jump using a ramp. Now sometimes the ramps in the game are just not big enough to reach the target. Of course, I can't change the maps and extend the ramps themselves, but I can cheat a little. If you park a cart just behind the top of the ramp, you basically extend the ramp by the height of the cart. This trick is not completely new to the community, as people have used this to extend this very tiny ramp here to jump on these side blocks in the drop zone map. However, this trick has been greatly underutilized. How easy it is to use is best shown by this example in Smashboard. This wall here has a nice ramp in front of it. The ramp itself does not give enough lift to climb the wall. But when I put a cart just behind the ramp, I suddenly get much more lift. So much lift in fact, that you fly over the wall with ease. It takes a bit of patience to put the cart at the right position itself, since you just fly over if you put it too far back, and you just slam into it when it's too close. But after you get the job done, you can go ahead and fly yourself onto this wall and flex your parking skill. This trick can also be used without needing a lot of speed. A very nice example of that are the snowmen on the top of the mountain in Snow Park. Again, they seem impossible to climb, but when you put your extra ramp just next to the mountain's edge and you drive up the mountain, it becomes super easy and it looks very cool. I mean, this view here might be one of my favorite smash card scene. Now, so far these climbs were cool, but not difficult enough for a mall parking video. So, I went back to a parking spot that I tried to climb already for this video, that I released almost two years before this one. Back then, I said it was impossible to climb any of the trees in Steaky Speedway, but today I will prove the old mall wrong. If we look at the trees in the map, this one right here is pretty close to a ramp. After putting my helper there to try the same trick, I soon figured that this spot would not be as easy as the previous ones that I showed in this video. To aim for the tree, you need to take the ramp at an angle. This makes the approach much more difficult, especially with this low ball in the way. And even when you get enough speed and the perfect angle, you need to make sure that you balance on the very small treetop. It took me a while to get a good attempt going, but after a while I managed to jump on this side branch. After a couple more tries, I managed to tackle the very top as well. After some careful maneuvering, I turned around and faced the arena. There I stand, completely safe. And for once I can actually survive in a game against a pro player. If you like this technique, give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing. All your support is much appreciated. In case you want to support me in Smash Cards as well, you can always enter my creator code in the settings. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.